Where is our C1 certificate? By answer of those students. At AOE State Run Language Schools, you get free and top quality language lessons for everybody, but now you cannot get a certificate crediting an advanced level. Avanzado 2, a B2, stands for an upper intermediate level. We've got the schools, we've got the teachers, we've got the students. Where are our certificates? Today we are going to record the dramatized uh, play of uh, Friends, text script of episode 1, season 1. And the title is The One Where Monica Gets a New Role. But first, I'm playing Monica. I'm playing Rose. <laughs> I'm playing Phoebe. I'm playing Joey. I'm playing Chandler. And I'm playing Rachel. Okay. okay. There's nothing to tell. He's just some guy I work with. Come on, you are going out with that with the guy. There's gonna be something wrong with him. Alright, Joy, be nice. So, does he have a hand? A hand and a hair piece? Um, wait, does he talk? Just cause I don't want her to go through what I went through with Carl. Okay, everybody relax. This is not even a date. It's just two people going out to dinner and not having sex. Sounds like a date to me. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm back in high school. I'm standing in the middle of the cafeteria and I realize I'm totally naked. Oh yeah, I don't believe it. Then I look down and I realize there's a phone there. Instead of? That's right. Never had that dream. No, no, no. <laughs> All of a sudden the phone starts to ring. Now I don't know what to do. Everybody starts looking at me. And they weren't looking at you before? Finally, I figure I'd better answer it. And it turns out it's my mother, which is very, very weird because she never calls me. Hi! <laughs> this guy says hello, I want to kill myself. Are you okay, sweetie? I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestines, pulled it out of my mouth and tied it around my neck. Cookie? Carol Mood hair is cut out today. Oh. Uh, let me get you some coffee. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, no, 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 stop! Stop cleaning my aura. Fine. No, no let's leave my aura alone, okay? Okay, be marky. Ah, a bit. <laughs> I was a lesbian. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I told mom and dad last night. They seem to take it pretty well. Oh really? So that mistake our phone call I got from a woman at 7 3 p.m. I never have grandchildren. I never have grandchildren. Was what? A wrong number? Sorry? Alright Ross, look. You are feeling a lot of pain right now. You are angry. You are hurting. Can I tell you what the answer is? <laughs> the street joint! Come on! You are single, have some hormones! I don't want to be single, okay? Yes, um, I just... I just wanna... wanna be married again. And I just want a million dollars. Rachel? Oh, God, Monica, hi. Thank God. I just went to your building and you weren't there and then this guy with a big hammer said you might be there and you are, you are. Can I get you some coffee? Decaf. Okay, decaf. Okay, everybody, this is Rachel, another Lincoln High survivor. This is everybody. This is Chandler and Phoebe and Joey. And you remember my brother Ross? Uh, hi, sir. Hi! 
They go, they go to hug, but Ross's umbrella opens. He sits back down, defeated again, and a moment of silence follows as Rachel sits, and the others expect her to explain. So, you want to tell us now, or are we waiting for your wet bridesmaids? Uh, oh, good. Well, it started about half hour before the wedding. I was in the, I was in the room where we were keeping all the presents. I was looking at this gravy bowl, this really gorgeous lamont gravy bowl. When all of a sudden, I realized that I was more turned on my on by this gravy bowl than by Barry. And then I got really freaked out. And that's when it hit me. How much Barry looks like Mr. Potato Head? You know, I mean, I always no look familiar. But anyway, I just have to get out of there, and I started wondering why, why am I doing this, and who am I doing this for? So anyway, I just didn't know where to go, and I know that you and I have a kind of bit apart, but you are the only person I know who lives here in the city. Who wasn't invited to the wedding? Oh, I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, Monica's apartment. Everybody is there uh, watching a Spanish soap on TV and they're trying to figure out what is going on. Now, I'm guessing that uh, he bought uh, the bike pipe all run and she's really not happy about it. Tuna or egg salad? Decide. I have whatever Christine is having. Daddy, I just, I can't marry him. I'm sorry. I just don't, I just don't love him. Well, it matters to me. The scene on TV has changed to show two women. One is holding her hair. If I let go of my hair, my hair will fall off. Oh, she should not be wearing those pants. I say push her down the stairs. Push, push her, her down, down the stairs. stairs. Push her down the stairs. <laughs> push her down, down the stairs. stairs. She is pushed down the stairs and everybody cheers. <laughs> Daddy, listen to me. It's like it's like all my life. Everybody, everyone has always told me, "Jura su, Jura su, Jura su, Jura su." And today I just stop and I say, "What if I don't wanna be a su? What what if I wanna be a horse? You know, or or a hat? No, I'm not saying I want you to buy me a hat. I'm saying I'm a. It's a metaphor, Daddy. <laughs> you can see where he can. You have traveled? Look, Daddy, it's my life. Well, maybe I just stay here with Monica. Well, I guess we've established who's staying here with Monica. Well, maybe. That's my decision. Well, maybe I don't need your money. Wait, wait. I say maybe. <laughs> uh, time lapse. Rachel is breathing into a paper bag. Just breathe. Breathe. That's it. Just try to think of nice, calm things. Yes, and raindrops and roses and rabbits and kittens. Yes. Yeah. Bluebells and slivers and something with mittens. La la la, something with water <laughs> with strings. Is a review of my bedroom. Uh, I'm, I'm made of my office. <laughs> <laughs> so, I helped. Okay, look, this is probably for the best, you know, independence, taking control of your life, the whole heart thing. And hey, you need anything, you can always come to the old. Me and Chandler live, live across the hall, and he's always good. Joey, stop hitting her, it's her wedding day. What? Like there's a rule or something? 